Welcome to Wednesday. Sam is home today. Woo woo! Okay, so Sam did chores this morning. Sam, everybody wants to know. Uh, Santa? Yeah, it was, it was easy to clean. Easy to clean. Uh, if Sam and I are on the same page about chores, let me tell you, that's something. It was easy. Did you waste hardly any? No. Yeah, do you like it? Yeah. I like it. Frig, I love that stuff. Like, I thought I was going to hate it. I thought I was going to hate it. I love it. The other thing everybody wants to know, how were Penny's eyes this morning? Better or worse? Tell the truth, Sam. You probably didn't even look at them, did you? I, did. I didn't look at them. When I walk into her stall, I notice every single thing. I notice her her demeanor. I, I notice. She's lying down, though, because she had sawdust all over her. Yeah, is it messy? People say, like, if you have a juicy horse. No, she didn't have any on her head, more on her blanket. Oh, so that's good. Yeah. So. But I didn't notice her eyes. I wasn't looking. I swear to God, it is a man thing. It is a man thing not to notice anything. Back in the day when I would go to work, I would come home from work. I'd be at work all day long. Sam would be home on the weekends. Back when I used to go outside to work, Sam and I were both able to schedule right. our work around our kids. So they only had to go to daycare like twice a week. So I would work a lot of weekends. Sam would be off on weekends. And I would come home. I would go to work early in the morning and I'd come home. I'd walk in the door and Sylvie would run up to me and I'd be like, oh, why didn't you phone and tell me that she has pink eye? And he's like, pink eye? What do you mean? She's not sick. Sure enough, she had pink eye. I could tell the minute she looked at me. We've been missing and showing them at the calendar, but today, ooh, that's a good one. Mm -hmm. I see this in our future. It's a cool bridge. It is a cool bridge. Oh my god. It can be like that. Yeah. Water. Or it could be a bridge. That's cool. They get a lot. Wow. Oh, is that day 25? Yeah, that's day 25. 24 or 25. 25. So, could you stop pulling it? The problem with the calendar is that uh, the treats all fall down into like one bucket. So, Sophie really took all hers out yesterday and put them in a bowl. So, she just gives them a treat every day. But they're all waiting. <laughs> These two are like, oh, it's here. It's happening. And this one's like, what's happening? What's happening? <laughs> it is a winter wonderland. Do you guys notice the different tone of the camera? Usually it's kind of got like a yellowy, sunny tone. Well, now it is white. It's pure white out there. Which makes me realize that when we move, I want my whole house painted white. Anyway, welcome to today, guys. It is a winter wonderland. Like I said, we are going riding today. Our riding schedule is really mixed up this week. But today we are doing it. We are going to the other barn, riding our horses. But first, I'm taking back the LOL doll stuff that I bought at Costco just one week ago or less than a week ago, a few days ago, because the one I ordered online actually did come through. I was worried. I bought a second I bought a second one just in case the first one didn't come through. It came through and Christmas is on the go. Also, people are commenting that we have a lot of presents under our tree. It's true. None of those presents are for us. Very few. There's a couple way underneath that you can't see that are for my kids. All the stuff under our tree are for other people. I love giving presents. I love giving things to the people that I love. All those presents are for other people. And just like that, we're at the barn. I didn't go into Costco. I sat in the car. To be honest, every once in a while I feel like like, I just want to chill and do some crocheting and relax, if that makes sense. And so, sometimes I go in the car with Sam when we drive, when he goes on long drives so that I can do all that stuff and just get out and be free. And he went in and, and returned my thing. But we are excited to see our boys. And it's a riding day, finally. Look how pretty though. Like, it's so pretty. All right, we are on the long track. It seems... At least it's not full of mud. Yeah, at least it's not... Why are you so cold? Because I just got out of a hot, a hot car. Sophie has literally a t-shirt on underneath that. I'm always telling her dress warm, but she always says she's hot. Not today. All right, Gabby's leading the way. And even Gabby, Gabby, did you bring your winter coat? No. Why? My kids are crazy. Oh my gosh. There's a horse. There's a horse. Oh, it's about to happen. There's a horse rubbing his head on Chino's butt. Like, and Chino is getting mad. We see it. It's far away. He's about to kick him, I think. Oh, he already cried twice. Yeah. Oh, now he's got his blanket, ripping it to bits. 
<laughs> Pure ice under there. That's a <laughs> she has to pee now. Stuff where the horses See? Go. Pure ice. <laughs> Gosh, there's so much happening. This horse is literally ripping Chino's butt off. No, and Chino, Chino did a buck with his butt right at the horse, but gentle. He's gentle. He's like Penny. And there's like a gazillion turkeys running around. It's like a comic show here. Comedy. It's a comedy. People falling, turkeys running, horses ripping people's blankets off. Oh, come on. I'm holding on. Chino, why do you say no? Say no, dude. Chino's like, what is that? That's annoying. He has like no hair on him. And now. And he also his neck. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is not your friend, Chino. Stay away from him. At least he's got something on his bum. Oh my god. Chino, it's me back here. What is that? That is dangerous. All right. Oh good, that's good. That's so they're, they're all eating snow, but basically you guys know Chino's feet are hurting him because look at his neck is destroyed. Look at his neck. Oh my gosh. What are we gonna do? We have to fix we it. We have another neck. Yeah, but it's too hot. This one's like a nice neck. Chino's like the kind of horse. All right. He doesn't play a lot, but when he plays, he destroys everything. What are we gonna do about your neck, dude? Don't let people rip your neck apart. That was just that part. Oh, look how sore. It doesn't look sore, it just looks wet. That's what fins are gonna look like. Except for that part was because the shoe had a metal thing. All right, well, let's go. I'll bring this home because I can re sew it. It's pure ice, you guys. Like, this is dangerous. There's Oakley, Mr. Oakley. Let's see if we can get a picture of Oakley. Whoa, and Tex. Where's Finn? Where's Oh, Finn's like, don't take me. That horse loves me. <laughs> yeah, that horse is really friendly. So the horse ripping Chino's blanket to bits is just a friendly horse. A friendly little boy. Well, Tex's blanket looks chewed. Hey, Texie. Hi, handsome. Hello. All right, let's go. Bye, Gino. Gino's not making a move. Oh, you need to protect me from the storm. <laughs> You're fine. Storm will definitely kick. Obviously not enough. But you know what I have noticed? I have noticed, don't come for me. I have noticed that if Storm wears a big heavy blanket, somehow it gets ripped apart. But if he wears a light blanket, it doesn't ever get ripped apart. Oh, good golly. None of our horses want to go. Okay, so here's my question of the day. Are you ready for my question? Yes, I did fall. Yes, you did fall. Would you rather sew blankets, repair blankets, buy blankets, and have your horse a part of a herd? No, he says. Or would you rather have your horses in their own field with no other horses and not have to replace blankets? Herd. Herd? Because then they have friends. Would you rather repair, repair and purchase new blankets and have your horse a part of a herd or would you rather have them in their own field and field. no other horses and not, and not buy own new field. own field? He's uh, to have his own field before he likes it. No, I think that's way better for them to be a part of a herd. Hey, Finny. Yeah. And when our horses don't want to come and don't want to go in and ride, it's not because we're doing things wrong. It's not because we suck and they hate us. It's because they love their herd and they want to be out there doing nothing like normal people. Except for in winter when Storm has no blanket and he's freezing his butt off. And then he wants to come in? Yeah. All right. So anyways, we're getting but ready. He likes thin blankets. He likes to move. Like yeah. He, he can't. So yeah. You have a puffy jacket that, that you can only do uh, I think in. that is the trick. I think that's the whole thing with that Storm. Oh, yeah. Good golly. I saw it. Kind of dangerous. We'll have to fix That's it. Why Gabby's gonna show us her outfit of the day. It is gorgeous. She, I like. So normally she wears wears gray pants. Today she's wearing like sorbet and beige, and then it looks sorbet good. Sorbet and tan looks sorbet. a lot better than sorbet and gray. Yeah, oh, pretty. Yeah. My question to you guys is, what is your favorite <laughs> color combination oh, for oh, riding clothes? Sour Patch Kids. Oh, oh he, never mind. He's smelling it first. He's been tricked too many times. Have you been tricked too many times? 
He doesn't like them. Why is there and before, poop on his blanket? Because that's what, down. yeah, that's what happens. Before he didn't smell what they were and just ate them, and he hated that. Spit them out. The horses are not cheap, not clean, and not easy. They're the opposite of all the things we want in life: free, oh, cheap, and easy. Yes, yeah. yeah, so you are hard, expensive, and not for and not easy, not cheap. Hey. Yeah, stop. I swear our horses, when I'm walking by, they're looking at me like, wait, wait, rub me. They understand that I am the lover. I'm the lover for them, right? Okay, that did not sound right. I'm the person that is going to scratch them and make them feel good. Right? Because when you can't scratch all the scratchy areas, oh, it means a lot when people do it for you, huh? He looks so different with his furry face. He's saying, what? what? So somebody, um, because of COVID, we can't have the animal psychic come. I might do like a phone call with her or I might do like an email with her and send no, her a I'd picture. Rather I'd rather do it in person too. I, we had it done before with Stella and Finn. Finn, Stella and Finn. And Storm already had it done when we bought him. He said he likes being close to the road with that and other things. Like he doesn't like his promises, like when you make promises to him, he doesn't like it when you break them. Yeah. Yeah. And Finn wants to be a champion. Like he really wants it. And he wants, he wants to know what the dollar store is because Sophie used to say, Finn, I'm going to the dollar store. I'll buy you something. And so no, she always says, can we go to the dollar store? Can we go to the dollar store? Mm -hmm. And so he asked the psychic, what is the dollar store? Which is really cool. Stella wondered where I went. Yeah, Stella wondered why Gabby stopped riding her. And Finn also was so confused about his name because we changed his name. There's special effects, so people used to call him FX. Yeah. So recently, Gabby had a dream that she fell off Finn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she had a dream. It's not a clinic in an outdoor arena, though. In a clinic in an outdoor oh, I arena. I didn't really fall off. I was on his neck, mm. like on the side of his neck. But I, I probably was just remembering what happened to Coco and me. He refused and I was on his neck. Was it at a clinic? No, that was at camp one day. Are we going to a clinic anytime soon? Yes, but I'm not riding Finn. Oh, I might be riding Finn, probably. You are riding Finn. We're going to a clinic on Saturday and she's riding Finn. Okay, so she says that she didn't actually fall. She was just on his side. Like on the side of his neck. Yeah. I could probably get back into the saddle, but I was like, no, nah, I'll just make it easier. And stuff. Okay, so if you, guys, neck go out. if you guys are going to miss any videos, do not miss the video on Saturday night. But it was a really big outdoor arena with trees. Because there's a chance that Gabby's going to fall. Because what are the chances? It's they fine. If I fall off Finn, he's just like, what are you doing there? Yeah, you're not going to fall. She's going to almost fall, maybe. No, I don't think it counts because I dismounted off oh. of his neck. Oh, okay. Like, I was hanging onto the side. But I've done that with Coco, though, before. So I was probably just remembering Coco because yeah. I was thinking about Coco. Yeah, you're a strong dream. rider. You're not one to just go flying off. Knock on wood. Mom. Knock on wood. So when you try and, like, take his halter off and try and put his bridle on, he puts his head, like, up here. That's where his ears are. Okay. Sophie, then, what's right? People want to know, why are you riding Storm? Because Gavin needs to get ready for the clinic. Because she knows Storm because we took his shoes off. You ready for this? Today the girl that believes in keeping you warm is riding you. Correct me, I was wrong. She puts it on just for style. This is just for style, Finn. We all get to stand in the barn and wait for style. Goes with her outfit. We wear pink saddlebags because we're cute. She, this is the team that doesn't match. Put that tail down, Storm. All right. And put on my helmet. All right, I will hold. I will hoard, I will hoard. I will hold Finny while Gabby sets everything up. Look at how nice she says. A horse that just stands there, lets you climb on. Kind of like my penny. Yeah, he wanted to get straight when I. Good boy. He's like, oh I no. Got out if I for once. Good girl. All right, get moving. Today I was struggling with the fact that there are two types of riders, or at least I believe that there are two types of riders. There is a traditional rider that's kind of like Gabby, a lot like Sophie too. They've both been trained in traditional 
uh, ways. And then there is another type of rider, which is a more natural kind of rider. And I believe that both of these types of equestrians evolve in the same big circle. And I feel often that it invokes so much anger and frustration and fighting. And people from both different types of riding can't seem to merge into one more evolved kind of riding. Like I wish that could happen. It would be easier. But I believe that my journey with Penny, I truly believe that my journey with Penny is to show people a different way and not to convert people into a more natural way because I feel like I believe in a more natural kind of riding style. But I believe that that's going to be my journey with Penny and I've been struggling, you guys know I've been struggling to try and find a way to learn a more natural way and to have support from a more natural way but we're heading into a second wave of COVID and it's just been a big struggle and today while I was mulling it over I found God sent me an actual way that I could figure this out. He sent me a link to a Facebook seminar that I could join that is a natural approach to horse training. Did you guys know that many people believe that you can take horses like like Finn and Storm and Chino and Penny that are all no horses. They all say no. When we say hey let's go do this they all say no. And you can turn them into yes horses. Horses that want to do all the things that you want to do and that's what I want to learn. I want to learn to be a partnership and I want to learn to listen to my horse and I want to learn how to get my horses to want to do the things that I want to do. So that's what I'm going to be trying to figure out. Oh, he's licking me. Are you licking me? He's licking me. That's disgusting. That's disgusting, Finn. You made me disgusting. Don't lick me. He's like, you wanted me to say yes. <laughs> Don't lick me. Anyway, um, that's what I believe my journey is with Penny. I believe it. I believe it and I'm going to do my best to figure it all out and I want Penny to be a yes horse. I want her to be the kind of horse that wants to get out there and do stuff with me. So I'm going to be doing that, figuring that out and I'll keep you guys posted on how it goes. Also I found this really cool thing for Sophie that Sophie and I both want to do this summer. It's called, uh, I forget what it's called. It's like some kind of woodland trail show. It's like a riding trail show so you go and you have to ride through this property and you you have to like follow the directions and then follow the pattern you have to ride this pattern so you like go up a little hill and stop and stand and then you'll do like a 360 turn on a little bridge and you'll go around some rocks and there are times where you have to like stop and let your horse maneuver through all these rocks and the horse will put his head down and guide you like it's this trail thing I sent it to a friend and I'm like I want to do that like that's what speaks to my heart is trail riding and they actually have shows for trail riding so lots of things happening like I have lots of plans it might look like I'm just sitting there doing nothing with Penny right now my first priority is to make her happier and once she is happier then we're really going to start focusing and changing and showing you guys a little bit of a natural horse journey opposed to like a traditional horse journey which my girls are on. Gabby's like look at Finn doesn't it look fun Finn? Finn be like oh no he does not love it. Do you love it Finn? He does he loves to jump. We've just discovered Sam and I have just discovered that it is very difficult to find a white puppy in the snow. Oh there she is I didn't even know. Come on come on. <laughs> It is scary walking down here. Come on, Dees. She looks kind of yellow. Whoa. Anyway, he came out and let the dogs out. They all went running out, and Daisy, he lost Daisy. He couldn't find her anywhere. But honestly, da -da -da -da. oh, she's moving. Hi, girls. Hi, Penny Pickle. You coming in? Come on, Daisy. Daisy. Oh, good golly. Good thing our girls are nice to her. Woo. So. Uh, many of you guys are telling me I should be doing some kind of a mash for Penny at supper time or for her grain. That is not super common in this area. Like all the people that we know that have horses, very, very few people do that. People don't even use chaff. Something's running down my face. People don't even use chaff here. It's not as common as like, is it, it's not as common as it is in Europe. You can buy it, but it's expensive and it's difficult to get. So, I'm just gonna 
scoot a little bit in here. Sam's like, what are you doing? <laughs> I know, she does eat it, but people are saying that she'll eat it better. Like you could put oil in this if you mix it and you put water in it. I'm gonna see what happens. I have a feeling that she's gonna be like, no! All right, Petty Pickle, let's look at those eyes. Whoa! Do you guys see, oh, that one's dirty. I was gonna say, do you see it? That bad eye is good. But the other one is dirty. Hold on. Hold on, I'm coming through. Don't try and steal your bowl. The horse that we have with the worst ground manners is Gracie. She's a little pushy. You're cute though. You're pretty cute. All right, so. Ooh, there we go. I guess the problem with this is like always having to prepare it and also needing something to stir it around. Definitely not as easy. I know you all are making fun of me. Like, Laura, you're doing it all wrong! Oh, but that is what she's getting. That's what my girl's getting for supper. What'd you do, lose the puppy? Yeah, that's what I'm about Oh, she's back up at the house now? Yeah. Daisy does what Daisy wants to do, right? All right, it's Penny. Yeah, Penny. Penny, my beautiful, cautious, amazing okay. horse. Come on, Penny, your turn. She's like, no, Molly. Here we go. You're okay. Go slow. Good girl. Penny keeps all the ponies in line. See if you like it. So I want to. I want to say her eye seems a little better. So wait, I did all that, and it made absolutely no difference because she always eats her food. Anyway, it's only when I put the oil in that she doesn't eat it. So now I need to retry it and see if it actually makes a difference by putting the oil in it. But right now, how it is, it doesn't make any difference. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the way